Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will cover some very important information uh, regarding the current state of the cryptocurrency market. Also, we will cover Swiss Pork and its awesome value proposition and also the threat to Ethereum DeFi dominance due to the superior value proposition of blockchain 3.0 platforms like Polkadot and Cardano and also due to the delays in the Ethereum 2.0 platform. So please stay tuned and let's go ahead and see the current developments in the cryptocurrency market. Also, please subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell and select the option all so that you can get this time sensitive information and regular updates, which are very important in this very volatile and high risk cryptocurrency market. It has just been one month that I started to regularly upload videos. And in this one month, I have covered projects like One Inch. They have given my audience some good returns. The only way to succeed in the cryptocurrency market, in my opinion, is to find these opportunities before astronomical price increases. So I strongly recommend that you subscribe so that you don't miss out such vital information. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Sabeel Khan. I'm a business strategist, blockchain expert, and an award-winning scientist in the area of distributed systems. So as I mentioned in the last video, the money is now flowing into the altcoins and also into Ethereum. So we can see over here that Ethereum is currently sitting at $1,660 around that, you know, at, the, at this price level. And uh, let's see what uh, happens in the future. But right now, as we can see over here, uh, the volume is actually decreasing. Uh, but that might be due to the fact that uh, the money is pouring into all coins and some of the all coins have made even more insane gains, as we will see shortly. One such all coin is Swiss Borg. And as we can see that from December 2018, Till now, it has given us a mind-blowing 213x price increase. And from July 2020 till now, it has given us a mind-blowing 31x increase. So we will discuss the value proposition and fundamentals of Swiss Borg in detail in the later part of the video. And it is very important for you to understand uh, so that if you see potential in that, you might actually invest in it for the long term. And for those of you who are subscribed to my channel, you must be knowing that I am very bullish on one inch and that is for a reason. It has a very unique value proposition as compared to Uniswap and SushiSwap. And in just the past two months, it, it has given us brilliant 7.25x gains. And I covered the project somewhere over here around uh, this time. And uh, I made a video about that. And since then it has uh, increased quite a lot in price too. So I firmly believe that uh, one inch has plenty of room to grow. So let's see where its market cap is currently with respect to uh, Uniswap and also uh, other related projects. But let me tell you something. It is geared towards institutional investors. It has a unique way of sourcing liquidity from different uh, uh, protocols. And that is why it reduces the average price of the digital asset in big orders, which the institutions place. And you might have also seen in one of my uh, recent videos that institutions are currently accumulating. And I believe that it is just the start of the bull market. So looking at the two important aspects of a bull market, that is time and price, of course, uh, the time dimension we have traveled a lot, but the thing is that most of the price increase or those parabolic moves of Bitcoin just happen in the uh, last few months. So I firmly believe that Bitcoin has a lot of room to grow. And of course, with that, the altcoins are also going to blow up. So in short, I think that uh, one inch has plenty of room for growth due to its unique value proposition. As I mentioned, it is currently sitting at a market cap of $545 million as I checked on the uh, coin market cap. And if we look at the uh, market cap of Uniswap, it is 5.8 billion US dollars, which is over 10 times more than the current market cap of uh, one inch. This simply means that the current institutional FOMO and their desire to acquire more cryptocurrencies and make them a part of their portfolio 
So the institutional FOMO as well as superior method of sourcing liquidity from over 30 protocols can take it to at least the market cap of Uniswap if not 2x or 3x of it. And I am saying that with conviction because its value proposition is much more superior as compared to uh, Uniswap and SushiSwap because it is geared towards institutional investors. So I talked about it when it was yet to be pumped over here. So we can see 10x to 30x gains in one inch in coming months if the bull market uh, continues and we don't see a black swan event. So I believe that many other altcoins are also expected to follow the same trajectory as one inch and Swiss Borg. And in case of Polkadot, we can see that currently its price is around 20 US dollars. So it increased from 3 US dollars in August uh, 2020 uh, to the current price, which is uh, 20 US dollars, which is quite a lot of increase. It is around 7x or so. And uh, in December 2020, it was sitting at around uh, 4.6 US dollars. So it has... Uh, uh high to 20 us dollars which is the current price of course and it has given investors a very good five or six x return around that but i'm still very bullish on polka dot even at the current prices and so in my last video i mentioned the etp of polka dot issued by a swiss firm and i said that it can take the polka dot price to levels that can make us envy the current prices so i recommend that you check it out also the outstanding fundamentals of this project combined with the implicit marketing from its current price surge as well as its founder Gavin Wood who is well known in the crypto space because he is the co-founder of Ethereum and also the inventor of the Solidity programming language. So taking into consideration all those things, I think that Polkadot has still a lot of room to grow in the current bull cycle. And we can see the prices of 100 or even $200 or even more, depending on, of course, the length of the bull market and also the increase in price of the Bitcoin. Now, let's go through the value proposition and fundamentals of Swiss Borg and let's see what problem it is solving. So the main value proposition of Swiss Borg is to uh, allow masses to invest in cryptos in an easy and smart way. Their app has gotten a lot of uh, traction and it has... Uh, over 159,000 users currently, which is insane. Uh, so the app acts as an ecosystem geared towards wealth management. So if you are a CHSB token holder, you can also earn rewards that are correlated to the performance of the entire Swiss Borg ecosystem. Overall, a superb product, excellent execution, and fantastic fundamentals. So looking at its value proposition, I firmly believe that it can definitely grow even further in price as it will most likely get more adoption due to the facts that I just mentioned. And due to that, we might see it in the top 10 or 20 cryptocurrencies in the coin market cap and it can go to 5 US dollars easily in the bull market where we can see insane inflated prices due to retail and institutional FOMO. And now a bit about Cardano. So it has been staying in the region of uh, 30 to uh, 45 cents for quite a while now. And it can catapult to 80 cents or $1.20 within that range in coming one month to four months. Its main net launch and its uh, ability to solve all five major problems of second generation blockchains sets it apart from many other third generation blockchains. So it can be a good midterm to long term investment, but don't forget to exit and sell before the bull market ends and the bear market starts because in the next bear market, you can definitely increase your bags nine or 10 times. And after that, you can see even more astronomical prices for Cardano in the next bull cycle because of more adoption because of many Ethereum apps going to its network. And the reason for that is of course, the superior value proposition, uh, particularly in terms of uh, the uh, faster transactions and also solving the interoperability problem. So I think that many dApps in the Ethereum network 
are gonna go to the Cardano network and other blockchain 3.0 platforms. Cardano has an Ethereum converter, which it has already demonstrated. So it is very easy to convert the Ethereum tokens and also D apps to the Cardano uh, network to port them there. And now a little bit about uh, the DeFi and Polkadot ecosystem. So many DeFi projects and dApps over Ethereum network have seen insane gains over the past six months. And, and I believe that many of those projects will probably switch to Cardano, Polkadot, Cardia Chain, or other blockchain 3.0 platforms, given the fact that Ethereum 2.0 development is very slow and Cardano is even providing an Ethereum converter, as I mentioned before, with which Ethereum dApps and tokens can be easily ported to the Cardano network. Also, its quantum resistance signatures further make it very attractive for institutional investors due to future-proof security. So in the future, I can see some ecosystems shrinking and some growing exponentially. So those uh, ecosystems which are centered around blockchains, which have inferior flexibility, scalability, and interoperability will lose their dApps to those networks, which solve these prominent problems in the blockchain 2.0 platforms like Ethereum. And that is not just about blockchain. It is also true about other domains too, where sometimes new firms which forge blue oceans and are more strategically agile can eat the market share of companies that are big with layers of management and glue to their existing technology platforms. This resistance to change and the lack of strategic agility ultimately results in either their downfall or else profound changes in their organizational structure or products and service portfolio. Apart from Cardano, Polkadot might also erode the Ethereum ecosystem with its tailor-made parathreads, which are essentially blockchains that can be refined and fine-tuned for particular use cases and industrial verticals. So the shift of many Ethereum DeFi projects to other platforms can enhance their scalability. And when such news will come out that a certain uh, DeFi project has shifted to another blockchain, it will definitely impact the price of those DeFi projects. So I can see a lot of switching of different DApps from one ecosystem to another ecosystem as the demands for scalability and interoperability it increases, which were the prominent problems of the blockchain 2.0 platforms. And such news can not only increase the price of their tokens, but also increase their adoption due to more visibility. So what is the conclusion of that? The conclusion is that in the coming future, there will be a lot of opportunities lurking around in the ecosystems of Polkadot and other third generation blockchains such as Cardia Chain, Icon and Cardano. So we need to keep an eye on the current developments of their ecosystems and dApps in these ecosystems and shortlist these hidden gems by evaluating them along some key dimensions which I mentioned in one of my videos, the link of which is above. So the next videos are going to be very valuable because in them we are going to see the fantastic opportunities which will be essentially hidden gems in Polkadot ecosystem. And of course, when the Cardano mainnet is released, we will also find the hidden gems over there. And I am convinced that many dApps in the ecosystems of the blockchain 3.0 platforms which will be released in the future and which are currently operating like Icon and Polkadot can give us 10x or even 50x gains in the current bull cycle and also potentially in the upcoming bull cycles. So please subscribe, press the notifications bell and select the all option so that you can get these time sensitive and regular updates which are very important in this very volatile and high risk market of cryptocurrencies. Thanks for taking your time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. Bye bye. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.